This bus might look filthy on the outside, but inside it's a lean, green, environmentally friendly machine. In China, at least, you should never judge a bus by its cover. Powered by a hybrid engine that runs on a combination of gas and electricity, this vehicle is part of a new fleet of 100 eco-friendly buses that went into service in the northeastern city of Changchun this month. Changchun, the capital of Jilin province, is just one of a number of Chinese cities that have initiated green public transportation solutions in the past few years. Many of these initiatives are helped by a government program that offers substantial subsidies to cities that research, develop, and manufacture environmentally friendly vehicles. In February last year, the government called for the production of 500,000 electric and hybrid vehicles within three years' time. If that's achieved, the figure would translate into roughly 5% of all vehicles produced in China, including public buses, being powered in a relatively eco-friendly way. Here in Beijing, the government has made a big push to reduce pollution levels by introducing a range of eco-friendly public transportation options. For example, right now I'm standing at a stop for bus 115, a vehicle that is powered by nothing but electricity. But the problem is, every day in Beijing, about 1,000 new cars hit the roads. The rapidly increasing number of vehicles throughout China, as well as serious industrial pollution problems and an energy sector that relies primarily on coal power, are leading to what some public health experts have termed a crisis. Already, China is home to some of the most polluted cities in the world, and it recently eclipsed the U.S. as the top producer of carbon dioxide worldwide. This endemic pollution is one of the guiding forces behind China's drive to establish greener public transport options across the country. And the development plans for these transportation networks are massive. In addition to more hybrid autos, the government has okayed the construction of new subway systems in 22 cities, large-scale extensions of already existing subway networks, and the building of high-speed rail links connecting virtually every large and medium-sized city throughout the country by the year 2020. Some of the larger cities in China, such as Beijing and Shanghai, have been busy building environmentally friendly public transport options for many years. For example, Beijing now boasts one of the largest fleets of natural gas-powered buses in the world. Although these transportation efforts paint a picture of China as a leader in eco-friendly public transport, the government's commitment to slowing climate change and reducing pollution has also been questioned. At the Global Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen last December, some accused China of blocking the signing of a formal agreement because it wouldn't agree to an independent verification of its carbon emissions. And those electric buses chugging their way across the capital? If coal power is used to generate their electricity, some have questioned whether the overall carbon footprint of these vehicles is any lower than traditional gas-powered buses. China, it seems, is locked in a continuous internal struggle over how to both continue its rapid development and growth while at the same time ensuring that these ends are pursued in a sustainable way. Zach Ref, BON.